It's been more than a week since the World Cup ended and I've felt this void in my life. And now I'm filling that void with what looks to be a very promising anime game. I first fell in love with this game when watching the announcement trailer and the graphics were just like really, really impressive. This is coming from the developer Level 5, who developed Nino Kuni 2 earlier this year, which is one of the best looking games that came out in 2018. So this new game is called Inazuma 11 Ares and it's a JRPG where you build a soccer team. You walk around, you establish relationships, there's a story that goes along with it and if you've ever watched Inazuma 11, you know what kind of what to expect from the story. I mean, there are a ton of characters, each one of them should have their own backstory. There's a lot to explore there. And then there's the actual soccer part. And look, I'm from Portugal, we call it football over here. I don't want to get into an argument over it. it, it never goes anywhere. I'm gonna call it soccer in this video to avoid confusion. But it's actually called football. Look, no one cares, all right? Moving on. Recently, the website has broken down some of the mechanics that we can find in the game as we are playing the actual soccer bit and that's what this video is going to be all about. Exploring those mechanics and kind of finding out more about this game. I'm obviously already in love because of the graphics, but now I want to dive deeper and look if there's some potential fun to be had in the gameplay part as well. I should also note that there was another Inazuma 11 game uh, that came out sort of recently for the 3DS. Unfortunately, I never played it, but I heard very good things about it. Like, it's, it's a beloved game. But since I don't have that point of comparison, we're going to be treating this one as a brand new game even though some mechanics might actually be recycled from the 3DS game. Okay, so how do you play it? Well, you play it in both real time and then you also have some like turn-based elements. You can dribble the ball around the field in real time and go anywhere you want. An early gameplay clip shows a little demo of player control. It's obviously an early build because the opponents aren't even trying to tackle the ball and take it away from you, or maybe it was simply disabled for the purposes of this demo. But here you can see several lines connecting the player that you're controlling to your teammates. These are passing lines and you can notice that they disappear if an opponent walks over them. So to pass the ball you basically choose which line you want to take and then it seems that there's this timing mechanic depending on how far the opponent is. You might have to hold the passing button a little bit more so the pass itself isn't fully automatic at least according to the website description because if we look at the demo that they've shown it looks pretty automatic. Like there are long passes, short passes, ground passes, passes lobs even and it all just seems to happen kind of instantly but it's an early build I don't see any meters around so we can't really see if it actually works fully automatic or if there is an actual manual mechanic to that stuff we'll have to wait and see when the game comes out then if you don't want to pass the ball of course you can always dribble but unlike this demo the opponents will actually try to tackle you so mechanically how does that work well if an opponent comes across you you have this mini game that will trigger and you basically have three options go right go left or use a special move. Now if the opponent chooses the same direction as you, they will tackle the ball away from you. But if you choose the different direction from the opponent, you will actually dribble past them and keep the ball. As for the special move, we'll talk about those later because there's a lot to break down as far as special moves go. And hey, keep in mind that if your opponent has the ball, this is also your tackling mechanic. You have to approach your opponent while they have the ball and then you have the same mini game: Go right, go left or use a special move. Finally, if you still have the ball and you make it close to goal, you might want to take a shot. And here's how the shooting mechanic works. You press a button to initiate the shooting animation. Then you manually aim with the left thumbstick as far away from the keeper as possible, maybe. And also at the bottom of the screen you have to select which type of shot we have. On the left we have a control shot, on the right we have a power shot, and of course up top we have the special move, which we'll get to soon enough, I haven't forgotten. It's not very clear what the goalkeeper's options will be because they don't go into that on the website, but uh, I think it's pretty safe to expect something like go right, go left or use a special move. Alright, let's talk about special moves, we've delayed long enough. This is where the soccer really becomes anime. There are four types of special moves, shoot, offense, defense and keeper. The website and trailer show a couple of examples, but based on the names of the types you can use easily see where you can use each one of these. Shoot is for when you're face to face with the goalkeeper. The website shows Spectral Magna as an example, which looks like an incredibly powerful shot. Offense is for when you have possession and you want to progress in the field. The website shows Ice Arrow, which I'm actually not entirely sure how it works, I mean, that can't be a practical way of playing football. 
Soccer, damn it, I did it. Defense is for when you're trying to take the ball away from your opponent or just like keep them from getting closer to your goal. The website shows rest of the wall, a ridiculously big wall that just <laughs> emerges from the field. Damn it, Japan. And then we have the keeper for when the opponent finally reaches the goal and is trying to score. The website shows this powerful shield that will stop pretty much any shot that comes your way. And those are the mechanics that the website explains, but I'm actually... Hmm, feel this, still feel this void. I feel like there are some mechanics that haven't been explained yet, or maybe they're not even in the game, and I, I'm super curious to learn more. I'd love to know what uh, the mechanics are behind set pieces, for instance. Like what happens on a free kick? What happens on a corner kick? On a throw? Are there actually free kicks? Because I haven't seen any mention of fouls. Like can you even foul an opponent? Are there yellow and red cards? And if a player gets suspended for getting a red card, like does that affect the RPG portion of the game? I think the promise is astounding. I think this game looks incredibly promising. It also looks amazing and I definitely want to play it, but that's enough about my opinion i'd love to know what you guys think is this something you can see yourself playing or maybe it's a pass for you it's coming out later this year and it's coming out for pretty much everything like not only is it coming out for ps4 and switch it's also going to be out on ios and android so yeah let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below if you want to watch some video about any other anime games uh, we make those videos daily so here's some of our previous work go ahead and click the video that looks better to you but as always thank you very much for watching my name is Globku, and i'll see you guys next time boy